Perhaps you require a Ferrari, a Learjet or a dog, but you're a little scrap for the initial outlay or have a canine commitment problem. No worries, there are people who'll give them to you. Sort of. Businessman Steve Sammartino has come up with a clever way of putting your idle assets and knickknacks to work, and he joins us now to explain. Good morning. Morning, Thanks Steve. For coming. How are you? Thanks for having this me. This looks like, you know, just looks like all of the junk to me. Well, it's uh, pretty much what you'd find in the average garage or spare yeah, room. Exactly. So these are all the idle assets and items that we use on occasions, on, on a temporary nature. And so uh, we've started a website called Rentoid.com where people can rent these out and make some, some cash out of their idle assets. Rentoid.com. Yeah. It sounds like something oh. unfortunate that happens to your bottom, doesn't it? <laughs> Rentoid.com. <laughs> so what happens is what people have something like this and... What, you, how, do you, how do you advertise that? Yeah, well, you go onto the, to the website and join up, which is free, and you can put up as many items as you like that you'd be prepared to rent out and just follow the prompts, put up a photo, a description of the item. Oh, so there's the a pricing. photo, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. put up a photo, a description, uh, the person who owns the item sets the pricing, and uh, people can come onto the website and browse for items that they need or on a temporary nature and rent them. Okay, now I would imagine that you'd, you'd probably want to live close by to, so you need to source something in your own area, obviously, yeah. but, but what happens if, if you lend your prized drum to someone and they put a foot through it? Yeah. Uh, just, what, what happened? Well, pretty much like renting anything when you uh, rent a house, for example, we recommend that people put down a bond. So for your item, if you put down a bond and the person's not going to damage what it is, then uh, they, they would, wouldn't have a problem with giving a bond and, mm. and give the money back uh, once the item's returned in good nick. How do you determine the price? The price is determined uh, entirely by the person who owns the item. So if they're prepared to rent out their snow skis for $20 for a week or $100 a week, that's, that's entirely up to them. So the member decides what they want to rent it out for. They set the pricing. See, these things all make sense, especially the prams, by the way, because you get to a point when you've got babies where you don't actually need the little, the little capsule. But uh, those things to me make great sense. But what are some of the really odd things that you could get? We've, we've got some really strange stuff on there like donut fries and hot dog cookers, and we've rented out a lot of jumping castles, which is really, really quite interesting. Absolutely, for parties and these types of things. People so, have jumping castles lying well, around the house? Well, some businesses also use Rentoid as well to oh, generate some extra yeah. business. And what, so, what's in it for you? Yes. There's yeah. a commission, I suppose. Yeah, that's suppose. right. But it's free to join and free to list, and we only take a 5% of the rental price once someone rents something. So, in real terms, there's no risk. You don't have to pay Rentoid.com unless you actually make some money. So, the users are getting 95% of money, which doesn't exist. Yeah. All right. So, is there anything that you won't rent? Is there yeah. anything that's, you know, inappropriate there's, at all? Well, anything that's illegal is not allowed, and we don't allow Hummers because we just think that um, we... Hummers? We, yeah, Hummers. And that's mainly because... Uh, what, as in the big as car? In the, the big car, the big Hummers, because we just, we're a little bit about the environment, and we want to... Uh, we want to encourage people to, to use things that and recycle. Yeah, them. So, so, so someone actually would, there is genuinely a Learjet and a, there is a Ferrari. There is a Learjet and there's a, there's a Ferrari. We've got a little one in there we couldn't quite fit in the studio so we just well, brought in a toy one. But well, what, what for instance might you save on a, on a Learjet? Well a Learjet, well to rent it to fly to Sydney is $14,000 but it, it fits nine people. So but um, commercial rates, what would that be as opposed to you know just going to a Learjet hiring office? Well, I think it's, it's much the same, but uh, the people decide the price you put on, the people who own the Learjet have, have put that on there for, the, yeah. for that yeah. price. You know what's, what's interesting about this is that the internet is such a sort of um, uh, a virtual world, but this gives it a sort of physical presence, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I love about it. It's actually bringing communities together, and, and the community spirit of Rentoid is good because there's a certain amount of physical proximity that's required. So if you want some snow skis, you're not going to drive you know, three hours to go and pick them up. It's about finding someone in your local suburb who's, who's got what you need or someone who's got a chainsaw after there's been a storm and you need to chop down some yeah. trees or whatever. So it actually brings the communities together. Like and that's a dog. One of, yeah. <laughs> and a dog is... You've actually rented a dog. No. Yeah. Haven't you? Now, how did the dog rental come about? I, I don't know. I don't I don't know how it turned up, but the person who owns it said that they're too lazy to walk it, and they'd love to rent it out to someone who's prepared to walk the dog for them. So oh, I yeah. think, uh, yeah. And it says that his well, name's Pep, so he's, he's waiting uh, to be rented out from someone. So, so maybe this. Uh, well, I suppose it might make sense for, if a family wants to test it out to see if the children will actually, you know, commit to looking after a dog, or if right, you know yeah. the dog will work with the cat. Or it's a good way to try before you buy, I guess. If you if, if the kids see if the kids are responsible enough to look after a dog, and also you know before you might buy a, a Nintendo Wii or something, you can try something yeah. out by renting it before you buy it. Well, so. is there an option to buy it? it? Let's say you rent it from someone and you think this is really cool. I want to keep it. 
Mm. Is there the option to buy well, it? I guess the two parties could communicate on that. We only do renting on the site, but yeah. once people know each other, mm. I mean, we're happy for people to, to, to uh, connect and, and do whatever they please after that. So we're all about bringing people closer together, helping people make and save some money, and if they want to transact and sell things to each other, then that's great as well. Do you um, get many complaints? We haven't had any yet, to be quite no honest. No complaints? We haven't had one complaint with the product yet. Uh, that's been rented out, but I think that's because the type of people who would embrace this idea are really community spirited and yeah. and want to make and save money. So it's really a, a little mini economy where the type of people who connect really, uh, you know, respect each other's items and and you have to meet the person face to face. So there's that there's that element when you drop off the item that you'll you'll meet with them and write down their details and maybe get something like a license and take the bond. And so it's not like you're transacting from afar. And there's that little mm. trusting when you meet someone. It's a it's a little bit different. Why did that's you right. Why did you Think of the idea in the first place. Well, a, a, a colleague and I used to meet for breakfast on Wednesday mornings and talk about different business ideas. And there's one particular business maxim which says that every business has an equal and opposite business. And we're thinking of great websites. And we thought, what would be the opposite of eBay? And we thought, well, the opposite of buying might be renting. And uh, when we thought about the different ways it could benefit people making, saving money, good for the environment, we thought, well, that's a pretty good idea. Mm. We had a look and no one was doing it, so we thought, hey, let's get on it, and, and, we, and we did it. And the response so far has been? <laughs> it's been tremendous. Yeah. It's, been, it's been really good. Everyone's really positive, and uh, most people who find out about it really love it and uh, enjoy it when they start using it and making some extra money. Okay, so for the next, for the next council cleanup, I'm thinking there'll be more and more people out there sort of scrounging all of these things together <laughs> to get a collection, so they've yeah. got, you know, a stockpile yeah. of stuff to yeah, rent. Yeah, that's right. They, they could well do. And how do you promote your company? Mm. Uh, we haven't done any advertising or anything yet. It's mainly just been through the web and, and people emailing and, and word of mouth so far. So, yeah. And, and it's is, been, is yeah. there lots of repeat business? Yeah, most of the people who get onto the site really enjoy it and it's, it's a bit of fun. They get to meet people in their local area and, and most people uh, tend to come back and have good comments. Oh, see, my husband's going to start thinking about, you know, larger chainsaws that he can, you know, rent for yeah. a moment. There you go. Look, I think it's wonderful. And I know your mum's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Not to embarrass you or anything, yeah. but no, she, he's done very well. Thank you so much. Thanks Lovely to chat with you. I'd like to cheers, Greg. And we'll be straight back after this.